Latest developments now on Saturday synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. The victims remembered with a moment of silence last night before the Patriots game in Buffalo. Julian Edelman, who is Jewish, tweeted about the tragedy this weekend, saying his heart was broken. And vigils were held in many U.S. cities last night, including this one here in Providence. Now, this as President Trump is preparing to head to Pittsburgh today, although not everyone is happy with this presidential visit. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie joining us live with that part of our coverage. That's right. President Trump and the First Lady do plan to visit to Pittsburgh today to pay their respects and visit injured first responders. But some members of the Jewish community say the president is partly to blame. I'm proud of this country and I call that nationalism. I call it being a nationalist and I don't see any other connotation than that. That was the president there speaking to Fox News last night. His comments did not sit well with some members of the Jewish community. Now, the Tree of Life Synagogue says Mr. Trump is welcome, but some local and religious leaders remain divided on whether the president should visit. Speaking with CNN last night, the mayor of Pittsburgh says he tried to get the message out to the White House. The priority today is the first funeral. Our focus as a city will be on the families and the outreach that they'll need this week and the support that they'll need to get through it. Uh, once we get past that, then I think there's the opportunity for um, presidential visit visits. And the man accused in Saturday's shooting is due back in court Thursday for a preliminary hearing. Reporting, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.